The refugees are frustrated. When word goes around that something is available, they always have to wait in line. Even a simple plastic sheet can take several hours and piles of paperwork. But the humanitarian agencies have very little choice. It's incredibly complicated to keep track of everything from blankets to soap for half a million people. Not to mention figuring out exactly what they need and delivering it in a timely fashion. And making sure that the refugees don't lose their ability to support themselves. Several agencies have tried to deal with this by creating work projects just outside the camp. It's also a good opportunity to improve the land. They're digging artificial ponds. Once the coming rains have filled them up, they'll be used by the surrounding villagers. Even the nomadic Arab herders will be allowed to water their animals as they pass through. The women bring plenty of drinking water and take quick breaks to check on their small children in the shade. In between, they work in teams of four to eight. and get paid by the cubic meter. They earn about $3 a day and work from 8 a.m. until 1 in the afternoon. Replanting trees is another popular work project. It keeps the fragile topsoil from blowing away during the frequent dust storms and will eventually provide local villagers with a needed source of wood. The men mostly watch, though they're supposed to be digging too. The women are willing to work hard because they're getting the one thing they care most about, an education for their children. Okay. 